Hello everyone, welcome to my channel US Immigration and Visa. Today we are diving into a crucial aspect of the US visa application process, the DS-160 form. Whether you are planning a business trip, a family vacation, or pursuing your academic dreams in the United States, understanding and successfully completing the DS-160 form is a vital step in securing your US visa. In this video, we will walk you through the entire DS-160 form filing process, providing you with valuable insights, tips, and a step-by-step -step guide to ensure a smooth and successful application experience. Navigating through the various sections of the form can be a daunting task, but fear not, we have got you covered. So whether you are a first-time applicant or looking to brush up on your knowledge, Join us as we simplify the DS-160 form filing process and empower you to confidently pursue your American journey. Before we dive in, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all things related to US visa process and travel tips. Now let's get started on mastering the DS-160 form together. Here. Uh, you have to search DS-160 form and just search it. You will get a first link that is online non-immigrant visa application DS-160. You just have to click here and you will come on US Department of State website apply for non-immigrant visa. First thing after you land here you have to select the location whichever location you want to apply uh, your visa from. If I select in India uh, here there are multiple options in India because they have different embassies or consulates here so I will just select the Mumbai and next I have to uh, once it refreshes I have to put this capture that is P9A5S if I am starting a new application uh, for the first time I have to click on start an application if I have previously filled an application and want to retrieve that application and complete it and submit it then I have to go to retrieve an application today in this case I am starting and I am showing you a new application so I will click on start an application once I start, um, go further it says this is the basic computer fraud and abuse act notices I just have to select I agree Here I have to select a security question, there are multiple questions, you can read them and select uh, any of them. In this case I am just selecting a basic thing just to show you. So I will select on continue. Now it comes to the information page here. We have to fill all the information or personal information and previous inf information whatever they are asking whatever uh, I have to provide second thing this is the application ID here you can see this is very important because this will be the application ID which will be used at every step of your application US visa application process so now let's start with the name just in case I will take a hypothetical name and the scenario so I will fill this form that will help me to uh, show you better uh, it is asking for surname I will say uh, Gupta and here I will say um, Aman okay. full name in native alphabet show it as as per your passport and fill all the things as per your passport have you ever used other name maiden religious professional alias etc if you have used any other name in your life just mention uh, say yes and mention it there if you have not used any name uh, any time uh, other than your passport name then select click on no same with this do you have a telecode that represents your name yes or no i in today I, in our case i will select no here we have to select either male or female here we have to select uh, marital status married single widow divorce or any uh, whichever applies to you here we have to select the date of birth so I will just select a random date of birth 1st January 1990 here we can still select the city so I will select mobile state 
in some passports the state has mentioned in some passport the state or in country state or province is not mentioned so in if in your case it is not mentioned or not applicable then you can select on does not apply in my case i will in this case i will just uh, fill it here and here next is country i have to uh, click on the country now i will go to next personal to here country or region of origin nationality whatever is your nationality you have to fill that my is india so i will just fill it do you hold or have you held any nationality other than the one indicated above on nationality if you have multiple nationalities or more than one nationality you can click on yes and fill that thing if you have just a single nationality of your country then you just have to click on no are you a permanent resident of a country or region other than your country or region whatever uh, if you are pr holder of any of the country then you have to mention that country here if you are not holding any pr card or any permanent residency of any other country other than the nationality you just have to click on no if we move further national identification number if this applies in your case you have to fill it if it does not uh, then just uh, click on does not apply or in like in the case of india or many other cases national identification number can be your passport number so you can click on uh, you can fill your passport number as well if you have a us social security number you can click you have to fill the social security number as well uh, or if it doesn't if you don't have just click on does not apply if you have a us taxpayer id number then you have to fill it and uh, if it does not apply to you click on does not apply next we move further to your travel information here it is asking please provide the following information purpose of the trip to the us what is your purpose of the trip you are applying a visa for either you are want to travel for the business or personal visit or for a student visa or for work visa or for any other reason you just have to uh, like search that and click here in our case i will just simply fill the temporary business pleasure visitor i am just taking it very hypothetical if you are a student and you want to apply for the student visa then you have to apply for um academic or language student f visa right so i will click here specify it will asking more information either it is um, b1 b2 is business and tourism both temporary visitor business if you are having a company business or company conference then you can apply for b1 if you are just visiting for medical treatment or for tourism you can apply b2 in i will just select here business and tourism b1 b2 have you made specific travel plans if you have a particular sp uh, specific travel plans where you have to go on what date you are going to reach there what date you are going to come back and everything is planned as per the schedule you can select on yes and you have to like fill everything here if you don't have any specific plans uh, then you can select no fine it will uh, ask for the details if i select yes then it will ask date of arrival in us if i take today like um, uh, 1st february 2024 arrival flight if known i will take united airlines united airlines arrival city i will take new york fine date of departure from us when you are going to come back i will just say 1st march 2024 i have a departure flight united 
year lines or any other these are all hypothetical which i am saying departure city i will just write chicago okay provide the location you plan to visit in the us i will just say new york new york if you are visiting more than one places then you have to select uh, others as well chicago fine address where you will be staying i don't have any particular address i will say one two three uh, street city new york here i will select new york zip code i don't know uh, so leave it person or entity paying for your trip self other person present employee employee in the us other company organization i will here select self fine this is a case where you are you have a specific travel plans and you are saying yes if you don't have any specific travel plans you can select no also and it will ask you intended date of travel intended date of departure place of place you are going to visit the uh, place you are going to arrive and so let's see what it shows see it just asking intended date of arrival length of stay if i say intended date of arrival is second feb 2024 Uh, intended date length of stay is in months just one one then it further ask your address where you will be staying in the us and who will be paying for your trip either it is self or other person or present employer employee in the us or other company or organization i have just select yes i will say next travel companion okay it is asking street address has not been completed okay so i will just go here no back because i have again to fill all the thing so i will just say first feb 2024 intended date is like month 1 1 i don't know so i am just saying hypothetically 1 2 3 street this is optional new york and state is state is again new york zip code i don't know self here is next i will say go to okay it is say uh, here you have to answer about the travel companions information provide the following travel companion information person traveling with you are you and there other person traveling with you if you are traveling along with someone maybe your family family or friend or uh, or a uh, colleague at your office you have to select here so anybody to with whom you are traveling so if i say yes are you traveling as part of group organization if you are traveling as part of group organization you have to select here yes and give the uh, further group name if you are traveling alone then just you have to select no it will not ask for the question in this uh, travel companion information next next section is of previous us travel information if you have ever visited us before then you have to provide this information if you have never before visited the us before any or, or on any other visa or the same visa type then you can select no so have you ever been in the us i will say no have you ever been issued a us visa i will say no or if you say have you ever been uh, in the us it will say date arrived whenever you have arrived if i say yes first of jan i will say 2016 length of stay i will say in months four these are just hypothetical do you or did you ever had a us driver's license if you have yes then you have to provide the further information like the driver's license number 
state where it was issued if you don't have just like no so here is the basic thing if you are selecting no then uh, if you have never been to us then you can select no have you ever been issued a us visa if it is no it will not ask any other question if it is yes if you select yes then it will ask a detailed question date last visa was issued when was your last visa was issued maybe in just take an example 16 2016 2015 2010 or whenever it is your last issue uh, last visa issue date you have to mention it here visa number you have to mention it here are you applying for the same type of visa if you are if you have previously issued a visit visa b1 b2 and you are still applying again for the b1 b2 then you have to select yes if you are applying uh, for a different category of visa different type of visa then you can select no are you applying in the same country or location where the visa above was issued and in this country or location your place or principle of residence the thing is like if you apply in india and uh, they are trying to ask if you are applying the same country if i am applying previous visa and may take an example in 2010 the previous visa was issued in india so in mumbai uh, so they are asking is the previous visa issued in India and right now today also you are applying in the same country and the same location or if you have changed the location and changed the country so if I say yes they are not saying if I saying no then it also I have to mention it whatever is the uh, scenario have you have you ever been 10 printed 10 printed means that you have provided fingerprints for all your fingers opposed to having provided only two fingerprints. So if you have done a bio detailed biometric means you have provided the fingerprint of all your 10 fingers then it is 10 printed. You have to select yes. If you have not given then you have to select no. Has your US visa ever been lost or stolen? You just have to select yes or no. If you are selecting yes again all the questions like data last issued visa number are you same type of visa uh, year uh, when it was lost and ex you have to explain the scenario has your us visa ever been cancelled or revoked so if you say yes when uh, so you have to explain why it was cancelled or why it was revoked have you ever been refused a us visa or been refused admission to the United States or withdrawn your application for admission at the port of entry. So if you are ever been gone for a US visa before and was denied a visa or you have been deported from the US port of entry or withdrawn your application for admission at the port of entry then you have to select yes and answer the further question. You have to explain your scenario what was why this all happened. If it is no, they are not going to ask anything. Has anyone ever filed an immigrant petition on your behalf with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services? This means that anybody has filed your PR application in the United States with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. So if it is yes, PR, your PR application has been filed maybe by your family member any of your family member or your employer or in any or your university or in any case any other uh, manner you have to explain everything if it is uh, no like no application has been filed ever then you can select no fine so here I have to select it otherwise it will not let me go ahead fine so I will take next here I have to fill all my current address and phone number so I will just select it anything don't literally go for that I don't remember it so I will say it as not a country is India okay here this is the home address uh, uh, section so I just filled a random address it does not uh, matter anything right now it because I am just explaining it 
<coughs> but you have to fill your complete address with the pin code and the full street address everything because this is very much important up next question that it is asking is your mailing address the same as your home address if it is if you want a different address uh, your visa to be mailed or for them to have it on your records then you can select yes if you want uh, in that case you can select no and fill a new address for the communication for the mailing thing if you want this above address to be same as your mailing address also then you have to select yes next is you have to put your phone number here i will select nine one two three four five six seven eight zero fine secondary does not apply work phone number if you have uh, if you are like in office and you want to provide your work phone number you can provide it your secondary phone number you can provide your secondary phone number as well as many number or contact details you will provide it will be better like uh, if one of your number if they want to reach you out for anything and one of a number is not working they can they can uh, uh, call you on the other number so in that case it is very helpful so here i am just clicking does not apply because i i am not providing anything have you used any other phone number in the past five years if you have used like uh, numbers keep on changing if you have used any other number other than this above number then you have to select yes and provide the other number also if you have not used any number then just click on the no here you have to provide your email address i'm just taking a random email address i am just taking long one because i don't want anyone to get anything so fine have you used any other email in the last 5 years if you have used multiple email addresses then you have to select yes and provide the other addresses as well you can if you have more than if you use more than uh, one then you can add another uh, also and provide like you use three so three or four so one one is this you have provided other if you have three more so one two and you can add another and provide the all those addresses here i am selecting no social media do you have a social media presence so like us government wants to know everything on your social media so they uh, want to check if uh, you are not a problem for them or whatever uh, they want to uh, do the scrutiny like the, you have to enter the information associated with your online presence uh, including the type of online provider platform application websites you can read it so here what you see if you are on any of these platforms like uh, facebook or google plus on instagram linkedin myspace been interest reddit uh reddit youtube or twitter or tumblr so you have to provide that just take an example of the facebook so if i select facebook i have to enter my social media identifier that is a uh, my my profile id or uh my uh, link something with which they can retrieve that information they can access my account they can check my account and if i use multiple uh, social media platforms like uh, if you use it other than facebook you use linkedin then you have to provide your uh, so uh, linkedin id as well so in that case they will be able to uh, see whatever you are doing on the social media fine so here i'm selecting none because right now i don't have to provide anything and next question is do you wish to provide information about your presence on any other website or application that you use within the last 5 years or create your, or share content photos videos status updates like other than these all platforms which are there 
if you have presence on any other platform that is not mentioned on this list then you can select here you can provide those the name of those websites and the link also of your id you just have to select yes and provide the further information if you don't use any other thing then just select no and you are done with that next is passport this is the very important page because uh, uh, this information that you are providing passport number everything will be there on your visa and will be he very helpful because uh, uh, it has to be mentioned on your visa and it is in your application form forever so here you have to select your uh, passport type or travel document type regular either official diplomatic or other i will go for regular you have to mention your passport number just take an example z123456 if if in some countries there's passport book number also then you can fill that number if it does not apply to you you can uh, click on does not apply country authority that issued passport or travel document in my case like right now i'm uh, putting india if in your case, uh, your country you can put uh, the country where your travel document or the passport has been issued in whichever country where was the passport or travel document issued so what uh, whatever is the issuance place of your passport you can fill that thing okay. issuance date like i will just take a random date of 1st january 2023 and expiration is of 10 years so i will just take i will just take 31st december 2032 fine if your passport does not have any expiration date you can select a no expiration in this case i am selecting expiration because there is normally a expiration date have you ever lost a passport or had one stolen if you ever had been lost your passport before or one that is stolen in any manner you have done a fir for that so you can select yes and explain your scenario passport num previous passport number place where it has been issued and you have to explain in what scenario it has been lost if it is not lost then you just have to select on no and you can move further next is us contact section contact person organization the united states to whom you are going uh, here if it does not uh, like uh, suit your profile like it, it does not matter to you you can select on do not know or if it is uh, then you have to fill the information if you have some relative you are going to their place then you have to give their name a name if some organization is there like you are working with them and you can provide that organization name and uh, rest next is relationship to you whether they are related spouse friend business associate employers uh, school official or the if in case if in case uh, you are going for a student visa then you can provide an organization name your university name also and uh, you can provide here the school official you can provide the name of the school official you can provide the name of the school official you can provide the university name and school official and you can provide the uh, full address and contact details of the university person the international admission office is there so you can provide their contact details and the university address so in ca this case i will just select do not apply and it will not let me pass here without selecting anything so in any case so what i will do i will just write a uh, name fine i will just 
Wait a minute. I will just wait. Uh, city. I will same here. Right. Hmm. Zip code. I don't know. Phone number. I have to give them. So I will. What I will do? I will. I will just write a random. I will if you, I, you have an email address you can provide that email address uh, like I'm not providing it because uh, I'm not actually filling all the details they are just uh, uh, for the purpose of showing how to fill the information so I will just click on does not apply next is family here you have to give the details of all the members of your family like here you have to give father's full name and date of birth surname given name and father's date of birth is your father in the us if uh, father is in us uh, then you have to provide what is uh, your father's uh, like resident status is he a us citizen legal permanent resident non-immigrant other i don't know if it he is not in the us you can select no same way you have to give your mother's detail as well does you have any immediate relative not including parents in the US if you have some brother sister or any other relative in US then you can provide that information like spouse fiancé child sibling you can provide that uh, and you have, if you provide any of the details you have to provide the uh, US visa status as well US citizen US legal permanent non-immigrant or I other I don't know I'm just selecting no but here I have to fill some I will say do not know do not know do not know do not know so hopefully it will take me do you have any do you have any other relative in the United States no fine let's see if it allow me to go further okay next is the spouse family information spouse you have to provide spouse name if uh, somebody is married they can provide the spouse name spouse date of birth select uh, region of country of nationality city place everything if person is not married then they don't have to provide this information because it is not uh, like uh, if you have a spouse then you have to surely provide it if you don't have a spouse then it is not mandatory same as home address you have to provide the uh, uh, address as well same, same as home address same as mailing address same as us contact address whatever the addresses you have provide you have to mention everything let's see if it allows me mm, no it will not I will just say something I will just take a random date of birth first Jan 1990 okay select here I will select India country India okay spouse place of birth do not know okay spouse address same as home address fine okay here let's go to next section okay present work train or uh, work education training what you are doing right now what is your uh, uh, work or education or training information primary what is your uh, primary occupation like in case if I am applying for a visitor visa I am doing something so I just have to mention that if I am doing agriculture, business, communication, computer science, whatever is my field, uh, you can mention that if you are a student, if you are a researcher, military, whatever, you can mention that. So here I will just say business. Okay. It, uh, it is asking me from all the information. If you are working government you can put the government as well and they can provide all the information if you are not employed then you can fill not employed 
I will say yes and okay in that case I have to specify everything present employer or school name I have to mention and their street address so start date whenever when you started your job what is your monthly income in local currency briefly describe your duties as well so here I will just uh, to avoid the filling all the information I will just say not employed let's see what it sh says so here then you have to explain your scenario any wish wish I will say next thing I will just write randomly few words so that will allow me to go to the next page what is virtuoso it will take me to the next page were you previously employed if you have as I have selected not employed then it asking me previously employed then I have to pre provide all the information of my previous employer if you have more than one employer then you can add another section and provide all the information I will just select no have you attended any education institute at a secondary level or above if you say yes then you have to provide all the information fine when you have attended when you have not attended uh, when you have started when you have finished name of institute address zip uh, post, postal code uh, or zip code country course what you have studied everything if you have multiple courses that you have attended or multiple universities or multiple degrees that you have done you can add another and can uh, put that information I will just say no okay here it is asking do you belong to a clan or tribe if you say yes then you have to mention what what clan or tribe you are you belong to and you have to de provide the details if you select no then uh, you, it is asking provide a list of language you speak you speak English or French or any other language uh, you have to mention like if I say English it's just one thing if I have to add multiple languages I can add more languages uh, keep on adding and can add as the many languages fine have you traveled to any country or region within the last five years so if it is yes if you have not traveled anywhere last five years you can select no and you are done if you have select yes if you have traveled somewhere last five years you have to select yes and you have to mention like for example if I say I have uh, traveled Singapore and I have uh, traveled multiple locations if you have traveled multiple locations then you have to keep on adding add another and provide that information I will say um, Canada fine so Next is, have you belonged to or contributed to work for any professional, social or charitable organization? If it is yes, you have to provide the details, organization name. If it is no, then it is okay. Do you have any speci specialized skill or training such as firearm, explosive, nuclear, biological or chemical experience? If it is yes, you have to explain it. If it is no, then okay. Have you ever served in the military? If it is yes, then again you have to provide all the details uh, uh, that are required like the name of the country branch of service rank position military specialty date of service from and to if it is no then we move to next question have you ever served in been a member of or been involved with a military unit uh, vigilante unit rebel group guerrilla war or insurgent organization if it is yes again explain it if it is no then we will move to next section that is security and background okay here it is asking random questions do you have a communicable disease or public health significance communicable disease or public significance including cancroid grania you can read all those things tuberculosis and other diseases as determined by the department of health and human services if it is yes you have to explain it if it is no then move to next do you have a mental or physical disorder that pose or likely to pose a threat to safety 
if it is yes again explain no are you or have you ever been a drug abuser or addict yes then explain no then move to next part here we have multiple paths up to five paths in this security and background have you ever been arrested or convicted for any offense for crime even though subject to of a pardon amnesty or other similar action same way yes or no have you ever violated or engaged in conspiracy to violate any law related to controlled substances no have are you coming to united states to engage in prostitution or unlawful commercialized vice or have you ever been engaged in prostitution in the last 10 years have you ever been involved or do you seek to engage in money laundering yes then explain no have you ever committed or conspired to commit a human trafficking offense in the united states or say the united states yes or no whatever suits your uh, scenario have you ever knowingly aided abetted or assisted or uh, colluded with an individual who has committed or conspired to commit a severe human trafficking offense are you the spouse and daughter of an individual who has committed or conspired to commit a human trafficking offense same way yes or no you have to read everything and answer them correctly as per your scenario do you seek to engage in espionage sabotage export control if it is yes you have to explain it no do you seek to engage in terrorist activities yes or no have you ever uh, or do you intend to provide financial assistance or other support to terrorist or terrorist organization are you a member or representative of a terrorist organization are you the spouse and daughter of an individual who has engaged in terrorist activities have you ever ordered incited committed assisted or otherwise participated in genocide have you ever committed ordered incited uh, participated in torture have you committed orders incited participated in extrajudicial killing political killing or other acts of violence have you ever engaged in the recruitment or the use of child soldier have you while serving as government official been responsible for a for or directly carried out at any time particular severe violation of religious freedom have you been directly involved in the establishment and enforcement of population control forcing a woman to undergo an abortion against her free choice have you ever been directly involved in the coercive transplantation of human organ or bodily tissue have you ever sought to obtain or assist others to obtain a visa entry into the united states or any other united states immigrant benefit by fraud or willful mis misrepresentation or the unlawful means if it is yes explain again no have you ever been removed or deported from any country yes or no have you ever withheld custody of us citizen child outside the united states from a person granted legal custody by a us court have you voted in the, in the united states in violation of any law or regulation have you ever renounced united states citizenship for the purpose of avoiding taxation if you have renounced your citizenship united states citizenship then you have to explain it and uh, most important thing you can uh, like select save on each of the pages so your answer will be saved and uh, you can retrieve that application up to that page as a as i've shown you the option on the first page to retrieve an application and start a new application so here next if i go click on review okay photo is not required like it depends on country to country in india it is like photo is not required they will take at the center and uh, when you go for the biometric in other countries the scenario may be different so you have to do as per your country's requirement you have to check it out you can see all the answers all the things that you have filled and all the answers that you have given so accordingly you can check it if something is not correct you can go back edit and go back to that page and can uh, correct it and you can in the mean, uh, same way you can save at every step next is travel history 
whatever you have filled you can check it us contact family information this work education training information this is security and background information everything that you have done or uh, choose or selected you can see next is they are asking for the location okay current location is mumbai india next is next page is sign and submit you have to see see prepare and of app do anyone assisted you in filing out this application if somebody assisted you then select yes provide their details address organization whatever details they are asking if you have done every, filled all the form by yourself then just select no here enter your passport details i remember i have filled 123z123456 123456 and enter this code U K A S. Sign. Next is you can complete sign and submit application. So okay, let's click here. Let's see what next. You have successfully signed and submitted your application. You cannot make any changes to your application at this point. Please click next confirmation to complete the application process. Okay. I have signed and submit the application. I am next just confirmation. So let's say what it says on the confirmation page. This is the basic confirmation. You can take a print out of this and can use this page because it has a barcode and your uh, this application ID. That's all for the DS one sixty form filing process. Hope this is helpful. So. Uh, Uh, just uh, uh, check it out and go uh, best of luck for your visa application thing thank you very much